Welcome back to Talk of the Town. If you want to get your antiquing on, my next guest is the person to talk to. James Flister is the owner of Best of Janesville. Welcome to the program, James. Thanks for having, having me. Yeah, good to have you here. So uh, talk to us a little bit about what sets Best of Janesville apart from a typical antique store. Sure, so when we first started Best of Janesville and uh, Best of Broadhead, what we really wanted to do was have, um, have the best of the local community. So local artists, local entrepreneurs, um, craftsmen, jewelry makers, and really have a local feel to it and have the best local talent all under one roof of the uh, community. Absolutely. And what are some examples of some items that you sell or um, specialize in at Best of Janesville? Sure. So we, we have a lot of uh, repurposed furniture, a lot of uh, unique jewelry items, a lot of wood carvings, um, a lot of vintage finds um, from auctions and, and other various places. Um, just a very, um, a very eclectic kind of collection of, uh, of antiques, collectibles, and, uh, and whatnot. Very cool, very cool. And um, you know, you obviously have, um, antiques stores have vendors, mm -hmm. uh, people who kind of bring those items in. How do you find your uh, unique variety of, of uh, vendors? Sure, sure. So we utilize our Facebook and social media pages and stuff, and we, we're out there at auctions and flea markets and stuff, and it's kind of it's kind of nut. It's kind of nice to to see the the other um, store owners and collectors out there and stuff. So they kind of find us. It's kind of a tight knit community, and so we're just out there, just out there talking to people and networking, and we just bring them on in. It's kind of a nice opportunity for them to to rent space and uh, and sell their items as well. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, obviously, uh, how long have you guys been around now in, in Janesville? We've had our Janesville store open for a little over one year now, and our Broadhead store has been open for a little over two years now. And how's what's the community response been like for the Janesville store? It's been a very good response. Very good response. We we've we'll be out and around, and in fact, one of our one of our vendors that does the uh, repurposed furniture, mm -hmm. Denise Cole, she'll be you know she said uh, told us a story the other day where she was out at at Applebee's and she had the staff come up to her and said, hey, are you the revamped vintage lady? And so it's starting to become kind of a, we, we kid with her, it's a celebrity status type of thing. So sure. it's becoming a big deal and we're, we're very happy to, uh, to keep it going. Good, good, it's growing, that's awesome. And um, how, who's allowed to sell and showcase uh, their items at the Best of Janesville? Sure, so anybody is welcome to, uh, to come and showcase their stuff. Um, all you have to do is just set up your booth however you like it and you can sell, you know, if you're into antiques or collectibles or repurposed furniture or whatever you happen to be in, just, you know, give us a call and come in and check it out and set up your booth and uh, you don't have to man your booth or man, your, man the shop at all. We'll take care of all that. We'll ring up all the sales for you and you'll get a, a check in the mail. Awesome, and I haven't uh, I haven't been down there yet, so I'm trying to like picture how how the store is set up. Mm -hmm. Is it is it different vendors? There's different sections of the store that are dedicated to different different vendors. There, there is, there is, and we we offer a we offer it so so the vendor can um, rent as much or as little space as they like. So we do a dollar a square foot, and you can come in and you can set up as much or as little space as you like, and and uh, that's how we do it. That's very cool. What uh, what kind of plans do you have for growth or expansion or, or anything else? Upcoming? Sure, we're actually um, we're actually planning on expanding um, into the building that we're in now. We're going to expand even further, so we'll probably be tripling or quadrupling the space that we're in now. Wow. Um, by the end of summer. And so we've got plenty of room for new vendors to come on out and showcase their stuff. I'm curious to know, I mean, you're, kind of, you're, a, you're a younger guy. How did you get involved in this business of antiquing? Sure, that's, that's a good question. My wife and I were, were uh, my parents were really into flea markets and mm -hmm. antiques and whatnot. And my, my grandma is really into rummage sailing and stuff. So it's kind of, it's one of those things, once it's in your blood, <laughs> I guess it's in your blood. You got the, you got the vintage blood. Yes, yes, yes. You're an old soul. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Well, uh, James Flister, thank you so much for joining us today. And as I understand, you're going to be joining us on uh, Wisconsin Family, our new show that's going to be coming yes, out Yes, looking soon. forward to that. I appreciate you having us on. Yeah, we're very excited to have you. So, thank James you. Flister is the owner of Best of Janesville and Best of Broadhead as yes. well. Well, we're, uh, we're very happy to have you, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. That's all the time we have for Talk of the Town today. We'll see you next time.